Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think in the 10th grade in Romanian high school, uh, I think it was in the 10th grade, we learned uh, probabilities. It was 9th grade or 10th grade, one of these. Uh, and uh, it was uh, very interesting. You apply a certain formula, a formula and you, know, you kind of find uh, the probabilities of something occurring. Um, now, it's not very hard to understand the probability if it's an extreme probability or it's an obvious probability. For instance, the probability that if I drop this, uh, this glasses and the probability of going down, if I drop them, is going to be 100% or at least 99%, correct? And the probability of going up, um, they're very, very slim. So there are certain uh, situations where you don't have to apply a formula to understand the probability being extreme yes or extreme no. In this case, we have an uh, ex-Marine who was uh, obviously um, wrongfully, wrongfully, that's the key word, detained in Russia a, a few years ago for uh, getting uh, shit-faced, according to Vladimir Putin, uh, got into a physical altercation. Uh, the police showed up, show up, and they arrested him, and he got in a scuffle with the police, and then he got about nine years in a peniten penitentiary. That guy was swapped by the United States of America. Remember, uh, what's his name? Whalen is not swapped. It's still there. Ex-Marine. It's interesting that all these exes are uh, kind of like liberated, and uh, the basketball player who we know exactly why she was uh, swapped with uh, Victor Bout, the merchant of death. Okay, in this case, this guy was liberated, was swapped, freed by the Russians because he was, you know, wrongfully detained, uh, we say. And uh, he was just not wounded, he was hurt and injured in uh, fighting in Ukraine. I think if you go uh, and fight in a war, you get wounded. That's the word, uh, if you get pop, pop, boom, boom, boom. But they make it sound like he was not really fighting the war, but he was. So he got wounded. He was uh, freed I think, in 2021, and now in 2023, he was wounded, and now he's crying somewhere. So let's see, I got three articles here that will tell us all about this uh, wrongfully detained person. Man, actually. So this is from CBS News, Trevor Reed who was released in a U.S.-Russia swap in 2022, injured while fighting in Ukraine. Or, if you want this one right here, he was just hurt while fighting. Or, if you want the reality, okay, right here. We're going to go to this person right here, and this is the word you should use. You see that over there? Wounded. Anyway, let's see what happened. From the, the, the get-go, we find out that... Uh, U.S. Marine Corps veteran Trevor Reed, who was released in a prison swap with a Russian brokered by the Biden administration in 2022, was injured recently while fighting for Ukraine in the east of the country, CPS News has learned. Okay, so he was evacuated from Ukraine by a non-governmental -government organization and is expected to recover from those injuries. Okay, let's go to this one. Marine veteran Trevor Reed, released by Russia in a prison swap, Hurt while fighting in Ukraine. Right here, from the first thing. Reed was wrongfully detained in Russia for three years before his release in April 2022. I thought it was 2021. Here you have him. So, who was wrongfully, again, he was wrongfully detailed, uh, detained. These guys are telling us. Uh, and they say, we are aware that Trevor Reed was injured while participating in fighting in Ukraine. Deputy spokesman Vedant Patel said at a news conference. Mr. I'm quoting, Mr. Mr. Reed has been transported to Germany and he is receiving medical care, end quote. Now, um, did not say how Reed was injured or uh, give his condition. And he also says that uh, um, uh, he's not, the United States is not promoting, you know, the U.S. citizens going and fighting the Russians. Uh, that was somewhere here. Um, Okay, I want to be clear here. Mr. Reed was not engaged in any activities on behalf of the U.S. government. The U.S. government has been extraordinarily explicit. Doesn't matter. Uh, 
in warning Americans not to travel to Ukraine, let alone to participate in fighting there. Okay, and let's see how the Russians see it from Russia today. So, ex-Marine released by Russia, injured in Ukraine, wounded while fighting for Kiev. So, this guy was, was jailed in Russia for assaulting police officers and released last year in a prisoner swap with Washington. Has reported being injured while fighting as a foreign mercenary for Ukraine. I told you many times they were going to find out about a lot of mercenaries. Now, my question is this. I started with probabilities. How many people do you know that they were arrested in, let's say, in Russia and then they get wounded in Ukraine? I mean, this is one guy that was released and is fighting in Ukraine. I mean, it's kind of like very strange to me. I mean, after you leave with the Russians, uh, you don't want to see the Russians again. Or maybe you, I don't know, hate them so much. I think he got a girlfriend uh, in Moscow, or he used to. And now he wants to get her get her uh, by uh, fighting uh, on the Ukrainian side or something. It's, um, as I said before, we're going to hear about a lot of uh, these individuals apart from the U.S. government, nothing to do with them, just fighting over there in Ukraine. For me, it's very strange, okay? But because I'm a little bit strange myself, I uh, might say. But uh, what do you think? Tomorrow we're going to find out that uh, whatever her name is, uh, the basketball player is going to be injured, hurt in... Uh, in uh, Ukraine fighting the Russians. So let's uh, get some more information information from the Russians. Reed was transported to a hospital in Kiev after being wounded and was evacuated to Germany for medical treatment. CNN reported on Tuesday, citing an unidentified person familiar with the matter. The circumstances around Reed's injury in combat were not immediately clear. The outlet said, adding that a spokesman for Reed's family declined to comment. An estimated 11,675 vo fi foreign volunteers, I want to say fighters, and it's like fo 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 foreign volunteers have fought against Russian forces since the Ukraine crisis began in February 2022, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. About 900 of the mercenaries are U.S. citizens. Most of the foreign fighters have fled the country or been killed, leaving only about 2,000 still fighting in the former Soviet Republic, the ministry said earlier this month. Reed, a native from Fort Worth, Texas, who was then 29 years old, was arrested in August 2019. So, at 29, he just visited in Moscow in August 2019 for being drunk and disorderly in public. He was found guilty of assaulting two officers, endangering their lives while in a police car. Reed reportedly grabbed them the arm of an officer while he was being taken in, causing the car to swerve. He was sentenced to nine years in prison in 2020. And I'm quoting now Putin, your guy, the Marine, he's just a drunk and a troublemaker, end quote. Russian President Vladimir Putin told NBC News in a 2020 U interview. Opa, and I'm quoting Putin again, as they say here, he got himself shit-faced and started a fight. Among other things, he, he hit a cop. Reed was set free in April uh, 2022, prison of swap, for Konstantin Yaroshenko, a Russian pilot who had been serving a 20-year sentence in Connecticut after being arrested in Liberia for allegedly conspiring to smuggle cocaine into the U.S. Uh, the ex-Marine reportedly went on hunger strike while in Russian custody and claimed to have been injured. Reed told ABC News after his release that his weight dropped to 131 pounds from 175 pounds. No McDonald's for you there. And then he was uh, coughing up blood during his incarceration. You, you get punched in your belly a few times. He was a college student and was visiting his Russian girlfriend in Moscow at the time of his arrest. All right, so this is it. The, he went to fight for these guys at 29. What kind of life he has? I mean, wouldn't you be happy just to get the hell out of, uh, of Russia after all that experience? Or you want to get killed at 29, like, like right now, like what, 33 or something? Uh, what kind of life do you have? I mean, hatred? I don't think that. I, think that, I don't think that it is. I, I might uh, have a gut feeling that he's actually, he signed a little paper somewhere. Okay, and that paper uh, had him uh, go over there. Not by obligation or anything like that. 
But I think when he was in, in Russia, he was not just uh, visiting. Let's put it this way. So now when he was wounded, probably he was continuing his uh, mission. It's just uh, a feeling, okay? I know, I'm just uh, blubbling, blubbering uh, uh, around here. But it seems too, you know, coincidental. He is arrested in Moscow visiting his girlfriend, mm -mm -mm, like an idiot. And then he uh, goes and fight, uh, you find him again over there. It seems to me like he's, uh, he had a little mission and now his mission was just changed. He's still an employee of whoever he was, the college boy in uh, 29. And uh, now he uh, in Ukraine, he just uh, was re uh, redeployed and uh, his mission reassigned. My assessment as an idiot who went around the block halfway only. Thank you very much for being with me again today. What do you think? <laughs> stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.